Hey, I'm John. Welcome to Mr. G's Workbench and part seven of the step-by-step F-18A build. Uh, today we're going to be doing, again, we'll be hitting multiple steps to, to get an assembly done. Today we're going to be doing steps uh, 14, 15, and 16. That'll get the leading edge slats on, the flaps, and the ailerons. So by the time we're done today, that Hornet will look a little bit beefier than it has. Uh, so before we get started, my usual YouTube rant. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I, I hope you'll consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Uh, hit the bell and be notified every time I put out a new video. And uh, thanks as always to all of you for stopping in. So let's jump in and see where we're headed with uh, the Hornet today. So let's jump into step 14. And as you might have noticed, I have some uh, marks here. Uh, Kinetic has the wrong part numbers here. I, I had initially cut these parts out and realized they go on the other wing. So the correct parts for this were A1 and A3, C6 and C7. Uh, I'll, I'll do one side on video. Uh, obviously there's two sides to do. Uh, rather than draw this out any longer than it needs to be, uh, we'll do it this way. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm doing flaps down. I think it gives the plane a little bit more character. So we've got our leading edge slats here, which were A1 and A3. And the other half of the leading edge slats, C6 and C7. Well, let me bring that back down so you can see that. And then we've got uh, E98. We've got F11. We've got E87. And we've got F7. So we'll get those cleaned up and let's install them on the plane. Leading edge slats, flaps, ailerons, they're all on. So that's where we're at. Uh, they don't look too bad. Uh, I had some inconsistencies 
on these uh, on the sections here. Let me show you. I guess these are these are the actuators. I guess would be the correct term. Well, the two outside ones aren't bent to the right angle. I had a sense of that uh, when I was installing them, and sure enough, I was right. Uh, I tried to kind of flex them a little. I didn't want to break them completely. Uh, I got the uh, I got the ailerons to kind of match up, so I didn't go any further with that. After I had them tacked in with Tamiya Extra Thin, I went back with some uh, some Loctite Ultra Liquid uh, Control, and I, I hit each one of these connection points again to kind of firm it up. Got those on. I don't know what you call these filler pieces in here between the uh, between the flaps and ailerons and the wing, whatever that filler is in two sections. Uh, I I got them in. I think they look alright. You know, it would have been cool. Positive locating points. Uh, that's why I'm starting to think Kinetic is a, is a dirty first cousin of uh, Kitty Hawk. Because they seem to have a lot of common issues. So, that's where we're at. The only thing I haven't done is I was supposed to put the instrument panel combing on uh, back in the step where I attached the upper fuselage. I haven't done that yet. I was still cleaning up my mess here. Uh, and I, I've test fitted it. It doesn't fit well. I have to kind of bore some of the material out of the inside of it. I'll show you real quick. It's got tabs to, to place it, which is terrific. Except when you look right there and you see that gap. And I can do that all day long. It ain't staying down. So I'm going to just take some material out on the inside. I might revisit, I think Doug's Models did a, a build up of it. I'm going to go see what his solution was, see if, uh, see if there's any better uh, option. But I think it's going to just be taking my Dremel, well my motor tool, and kind of boring out some of this material on the inside to get it to sit down. So thank you for stopping in. If you like what you see, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and let me know what I can do better uh, the next time.